ASSERT stands for the uh, National Center for Advanced Electron Spin Resonance Technologies. And it is housed in the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology here at Cornell University. ASSERT's main objective is to facilitate and enable modern biochemistry, uh, biomedical and biophysics research using modern electron spin resonance technology, much of which has been developed here. Technology development at ASSERT includes the creation of advanced instrumentation for work in ESR microimaging and high field, high frequency ESR spectrometry. Uh, my group has been collaborating with ASSERT for uh, a number of years. Um, our, our goal is really to try and understand um, the function that um, proteins have in different aspects of signal transduction. And in particular, um, we've been studying the bacterial chemotaxis system which is really a behavior um, by which bacteria are able to control their motility or their, their motion um, in response to uh, the environment, in particular chemical gradients in their environment. What we've been doing with the CERT is to use um, dipolar ESR spectroscopy um, to monitor um, spins that we introduce into these proteins, into these systems, and then measure um, very accurate um, distances uh, between these um, spins that we introduce and really what this does is allow us to um, construct um, detailed architectures of how the proteins interact and go together and then also look at the way that they change conformation um, in response to signals. So by understanding these um, signaling systems which are generally unique to bacteria not found in, in their mammalian hosts, um, it is our, our hope that, that they will be um, new targets for antimicrobial agents and, and perhaps aid in the development of, um, of new classes of antibiotics. And so I think ASSERT has provided us uh, with technologies that are, are, are really uniquely positioned to, um, to look at these type of systems. I study intrinsically unstructured human alpha synuclein and tau proteins which are expressed in neuron cells predominantly. The mission of the project is to study the structure and function of those proteins in native-like environments. Um, the emphasis is on uh, structural transitions that take place uh, when those proteins interact with the biological membranes. The practical applications of these proteins, both of them are involved in neurodegenerative diseases. We believe by, that by gaining a comprehensive understanding of uh, their physiological forms, we will be able to understand the mechanism of uh, uh, disease forms and also to find means to control them. I had I was uh, fortunate to work with one to use one of the most sensitive spectrometers, pulse spectrometers, uh, available at Acer. So this allowed us to uncover unique information, structural information about alpha synuclein and tau protein. They are very flexible. They have uh, high structural plasticity and difficult, even not amenable to study by other biophysical methods. An important capability of ACERT is performing ESR spectroscopy at a wide range of frequencies. This is currently from 9 to 240 gigahertz or a, a factor of almost 30. Uh, the purpose of this uh, project is to take different snapshots of molecular motions for biological studies. Low frequency spectra are often motionally narrowed and uh, simple, while higher frequency are often uh, slow motional at the same sample. We have successfully used this multi-frequency approach for studying of complex dynamics of uh, proteins and DNA. What is unique that, uh, that we develop here equipment uh, for pulse dipole spectroscopy, for, for, for pulse spectroscopy in general, that is uh, 
it's, 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 a, it's sufficiently right. high level of, of its technical parameters and novelty and, and develop uh, new ideas. Here at CERT, we look forward to future developments in these areas. We have a number of projects underway which will greatly increase our capabilities in both ESR microimaging and in high field, high frequency spectrometry. Our applications of modern ESR to the study of protein and membrane dynamics and structure continue to expand such that they will pl play a, an increasing role in modern biophysics.